Megan, the Duchess of Sussex has made a surprise appearance on an American talk show. She's done a sit-down interview with Ellen DeGeneres where she spoke about driving to auditions in an old car with a driver's door that wouldn't open. I would park at the back of the parking lot and I would open the trunk and climb in and then pull it shut behind me and crawl over all my seats to get out. That's how I would come to and fro. It's her first TV appearance since her bombshell Oprah interview. And the Queen has made her first in-person appearance in almost a month, holding an audience at Windsor Castle. Let's go live to 7 News Europe correspondent Hugh Whitfield. Hugh, it really is a relief to see her back at work and looking so well. Yeah, Eddie, good to see the Queen up and about after we were told on the weekend that Her Majesty had sprained her back. This all happened at Windsor Castle, the monarch holding her first face-to-face -face engagement or audience in a month, this time meeting the outgoing Chief of Britain's Defence Staff, Sir Nick Carter, who was greeted not just by the Queen but also Her Majesty's Dorgy, that's a cross between a Dachshund and a Corgi. The dog's name is Candy, keeping guard of the door you'll see in a moment. The Queen missed a Remembrance Sunday, of course, at the Cenotaph in London. That was all announced at the last minute with this sprained back. It follows her withdrawal from a number of events over the last month, including the Climate Change Summit in Glasgow and a hospital stay about a month ago now as well. This audience would have lasted probably only about 20 minutes and we don't know, apart from uh, her sprained back, what ailment the Queen has been suffering uh, while she's been at Windsor Castle. Uh, some of the tabloids here pointing to the dark colour of her hands, though. No clear idea on when Her Majesty will return to public engagements outside the castle, but the Queen has given her blessing for Charles and Camilla to go on tour. Uh, they are there at the moment. They're off to Egypt in the next 24 hours or so. But while in Jordan, the Prince of Wales was asked about his mother's health. Once you get to 95, <laughs> you know, it's not quite as easy as it used to be. Thank you so much. It's bad enough at 73. <laughs> Of course, Charles is 73 years old. As I say, they're off to Egypt uh, in the next 24 hours. Uh, a sombre weekend, potentially, for the Queen as well uh, this weekend. Saturday will be her 74th wedding anniversary, and, of course, it is the first since the death of Prince Philip in April. Eddie. All right, thank you so much for that, Hugh. You know who's in charge uh, in the office there when the <laughs> chief, outgoing chief of the defence staff has to step around the doggy to get <laughs> to get to the Queen. Very, very. I've never known a doggy. Yeah, she's had that dog for ten years, dog, Candy. Uh, do you reckon the dog stands at the door and growls at people? Uh, no, I hope so. no, because they're not aggressive. Uh, best suited for families with children and other pets, oh. as well as singles. They're intelligent, loyal, bold, and watch. Mm. I've like never you. heard of a doggy. I reckon sometimes it would be like... <laughs> <laughs> get rid of him. And then they'd get a short audience. When, when Andrew walks in. Yeah. Yeah. Don't trust him. <laughs>